Hi everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Sam and Max Save the World. Let's see if we can convince Jimmy here to let go. Give it up, Jimmy. Not a chance! No, huh? Oh, what happened? Notice how this says it is a bent meter. The same thing it's been saying this entire time. Well, what would happen if we straightened out that meter? This would happen. Yeah! Well, that was kind of fun. And now Jimmy has no hold on anything. So let's go annoy Philo again and have him tempt this trick so we can learn a new trick to Where summon a rat now, at any point. To the moon, Alice. And then with all of our tricks in tow, we will make the attempt to get past the intimidating door. Work for you. Works for me. Come on, get over to Philo there. How's it going? Silence. I believe I have finally mastered this pinnacle of prestidigitation, the legendary rat from the hat. Hey, and he can do it. Oh, I just remembered. I can't stand rats. They're vile vermin. <laughs> Smile when you say that, Beaky. Beaky? Sheesh. I hate this pulling out of the hat business. Next time, I'll find something better to hang on to. Oh dear, no. There won't be a next time. I shall never do this trick again. In fact, I would appreciate it if you would be so good as to remove the hat from my presence. Sure. You know, you could have gone with anything else, but... Oh, okay, okay. So now we have a way to summon a rat. I'm sure that will come in useful at some point. But for now, that we have gotten... We have helped everybody in the blister here. This means we should have everything we need to get into this door. So first, we will look at the intimidating door again. And maybe, just maybe you notice that that little sconce is kind of in the shape of a spoon. With a bowling ball in it. Right above the open button. That was cool, but I hope it didn't hurt the bowling ball. There he is! Here we go. Jigs up, you bless. We've come a long way for this, my friend, so buckle up, because the freelance police are taking you downtown. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. He is. You're just in time for the show. Please, no flash photography. Ahem. People of Earth. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. And now, so are you. Ew. This could be a problem. <laughs> okay. What have you done? Oh, just enlisted a few billion followers. Touch me, and you'll have quite a happy, angry mob on your hands. Not if we reverse the effects of the hypno beam? I don't think so. For in all the universe, there's only one force chaotic and destructive enough to stop me now. But you wouldn't do that, would you, Max? Who, oh, me? <laughs> well, I'm... Yes, you I'm would. I'm flattered, but... No, you wouldn't. Because I'm going to... Drum um, roll, please. Get up there and start pummeling him while he's listening Super to imaginary drum rolls. Really? What does that even mean? It means I chop off every part of you I don't like. It's like circumcision, but <laughs> double the laughs. Hey! Wait, what? Here we go! Goodbye, murderous hand! 
Goodbye, gluttonous stomach. Goodbye, slothful tail. Ow! And with those naughty body parts, your vices are purged from your soul. Bye-bye. Thanks for the hand, jerk bag! I'm gonna use it to shoot you all! <laughs> Oh boy, a stomach! Just what I always wanted! Now come here and let me eat you! <laughs> Great, a tail. Hmm. I just want to lie in front of a TV till I die in a pool of my own slobber. Congratulations, Max! I just beat the living vice out of you! <laughs> I'm pure bliss. <sighs> Go away, rotten Maxes! I don't like you. Shoo shoo, shoo shoo, go away. Now nothing can stop me. I win! Okay, bye now. Oh, yes, my children. Let me soak in your happiness. Oh, yes, mmm, more. Oh, yes, so good. Oh, oh my, so happy. Max, are you okay? Help me grab that ponytail freak show and reverse the effects of the beam. But Sam, I love that ponytail freak show. I want to have his love child. No! That was an appropriate Max, time I swear to you, no. I'll get your vices back or kill us both trying. I love you too. So much for unconditional love, huh? Let's look around at what we got here. The rainbow that hypnotized a world. Didn't help, okay. It's too high to reach. Max, I need your help. Let's go read to the blind, Sam. Can we? What has he done to you? Sorry about that, folks. Uh, just had to pause the video real quick. So anyway, let's keep looking around in here. Someone around here's got an incurable case of narcissism. What? Nothing. Unfortunately, they <laughs> appear to be quite indestructible. Well, darn it. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. I can see the retreat from here. Apparently, Mr. Mind Reader has to keep tabs on his followers the old-fashioned way. What? Nothing. <laughs> okay. These crystals must operate something important. No, I just think they look pretty. A bit cliche, if you ask me. What? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Nothing we can do up there now. And there's nothing else in this room to do yet. We will take care of that once we get Max put back together. Because obviously that is our goal for this part of the game. Atmosphere. I think we found one of your doppelgangers, little pal. We're all doppelgangers under the skin, Sam. Well, let's see if we can talk to this one. You there, imposter! My buddy needs his shooting hand back. No, Sam. I'm a pacifist now. Violence is the bugaboo of a small imagination. You'll have to pry this hand from my cold, dead fingers! Eat the fiery lead of my inalienable freedoms! Hmm. That didn't work. Hey, he's there. I wonder if we Goody can take him for a ride. Target. Nope. And Max is over there. Well. Now? Goody! Moving target! No. Well, we want to take him for a ride. Unfortunately, the only thing we can... There we go, we can shoot the button! And watch Max and... That... Max and Max's hand take a little roller coaster ride. Unfortunately... I didn't do much except make Max go for a ride. Maybe we can make it throw up. Uh, 
I'm not particularly interested in seeing the contents of his stuff. Should be. But perhaps you noticed. Goody! Moving target! Please keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times? Well, there's a reason for that at this one. Maybe you noticed the spork here that I bent and unbent earlier. Let's bend it down. Since, you know, crazy boy over there is intent on keeping his hands up, perhaps this now made, made him a uh, low bridge to deal with. Nice little freeze there. Okay. Goody! Moving Darn target! It. Okay. And he dropped back in there again. So that planted. Bingo. No! Poof. Odd. All of a sudden, I feel a nearly irrepressible desire to shoot at anything that moves. That's the spirit. Indeed Not it me, is. Knucklehead. Hey, I would take him shooting at you once or twice. After all, it was kind of hard to get back to, uh, where we need to go. It's kind of hard to get him back together. Two pieces left, though. Let's see what Philo here has to say about this. What are you thinking about? I'm imagining a blob of paint drying on a canvas. It's a prismatological exercise. Sounds exciting. No. <laughs> what Anything are you else? thinking about? Marzipan. For reasons I cannot explain. Okay. What are you thinking about? God help me, I'm actually considering dinner theater. Go for what it. What are you thinking about? I'm wondering if my agent escaped from the ropes in time. The ropes? What are you thinking about? I'm imagining a blob of paint. Sounds okay. exciting. No. Alright. So nothing new to talk to there. And there is pretty much nothing else to do in this area right now. So let's go back home, shall we? Look, Max, it's another one of you. He made it 20 feet from the box before collapsing under the weight of his own laziness. Ennui is one of the five fundamental forces. <sighs> okay. No TV? Why even go on? You should all just lie on your faces and wait for death. It's true! Where is the I got nothing. Days. I'm a failure! <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears. This guy's the death of the party. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to Blue Doppelganger here. Hey, Pseudo Max, how's it going? Mm. I need your tail for my little buddy here. How about handing it over? Nah. Uh. And he's heavy. Hmm, he's heavier than he looks. Aren't we all? Well, unfortunately, nothing we have is actually going to get him to move. We could try shooting him. Better not. But no. And we could try our various things on him. I don't think it works on people. Except maybe if they're shaped like spoons. Maybe. I'm not particularly interested in seeing the contents of his stomach. I am. I want to know what Sloth Max has been eating. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty much all for this. Since we do not have the proper gear to deal with that version of Max. It's now time to go back to Earth. Since we do need a couple of things. 
mostly we need to see whatever he looks like after getting zapped by, uh... Earth. Zapped by the, uh, happiness beat. This has probably changed a few things. So anyway... This marks a good stopping spot. When we return, once again we talk with Sybil and Bosco. So, until then, take care folks. See you next time.